Hey guys, Crown Jewel 602, and I'm coming to you today with a, another video in my top five series. I did a top five, um, I think highlighters? I think I did a top five highlighters. I'm not sure, but I will link my other top five video down below. Um, but anyway, this is another video in my top five series. So this video, as you guys can see by the title, is top five drugstore foundation. So we're just going to get right into it. This video is not going to be super long. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. And this, I guess, um, inadvertently, because I am a woman of color, is a top five video for a woman of color. So number five, we are going to get into it. Oh, it's so hard to choose. But this is number five. This is the CoverGirl Queen All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. My shade is Almond Glow. As you guys can see, the foundation is down to here, and I'm not even a super foundation wear. Um, so you guys have to know that this is such a good product. It just, um, it says three in one. So it's a foundation, um, concealer and, uh, it turns into a powder. I don't feel that it turns into a powder. I have to be honest with you, but does it conceal? Yes. And obviously it's a foundation, but it's a nice creamy consistency. It does. Um, it's super, it's a thick formula. And it does sort of um, dry down matte. All of these foundations are going to be a little hard to see because they're going to blend into my skin. But it is just a nice creamy formula. It blends out well. I do feel that this one goes on best with a damp beauty blender. And then it does, I don't. I wouldn't say a powder finish, but it does dry down um, pretty matte. Um, and I don't, I don't set any of my foundations with the powder, but I don't feel the need that I have to set this at all. It doesn't look super shiny. So there is that one. And I got this one at Kroger, um, for like $10.99 or $11.99. So that is number five. Uh, number four is a wonderful photo foundation. This is black opal, true color, poor, uh, poor perfecting liquid foundation. Here it is here. My shade is Beautiful Bronze. And as you guys can see, um, I've used quite a bit of this up to here. And it is just a wonderful, wonderful, see, it's a, it's a more liquidy, runny foundation. This one goes on best with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's the one that I always use with this one. It's a little more yellow uh, toned for my skin tone, but it, it is a great match. The best thing about this is that it looks wonderful in pictures. It just makes your skin look glowy and youthful and wonderful, and it is great in pictures. The reason why this one is number four, because it is an excellent foundation, is because it transfers like no other. Um, even if you set it, it's just a transfer machine. So unfortunately, that's what brought this one to be number four. Number three, which is very hard for me because this is a super favorite. It's almost like I feel like my favorite, but I understand it to, just because it's my favorite. It might not be the best. And this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable um, Makeup. And my shade is Neutral Cappuccino. This this whole range is fantastic. They have, this was the first drugstore range that I ever saw that had cool tone, warm tones, and neutral tones, and a huge, wonderful shade range, no matter what store you went into. Um, again, like I said, my shade is neutral cappuccino, and it is a nice liquid formula. I do put this one on with either a beauty blender or the e.l.f. Uh, big fat flat powder brush. But that's this one here. And this one is just a light formula. You don't feel it once you put it on. Um, it's not heavy at all. And it doesn't super transfer. Um, it, it's not a super long lasting foundation though. It After about six or so hours or so, you will see it start to break up or you'll need to sort of powder it. Um, I didn't mention, but the Black Opal is, I believe, $12.99. Um, and you can't find it at every drugstore. You can find it at like Meyer here or um, at some CVS's here. I'm in Ohio. This one, on the other hand, is $5.99. The L'Oreal True Match is like $5.99. You can find this at any drugstore around Walmart, uh, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. It doesn't matter. Target, you're going to be able to find this. And it is super cheap. It lasts a nice long time. And it's in a nice little glass jar. So there's that. Number two. 
is also super cheap. I believe this foundation is probably $5.99 or $6.99. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me. The Matte Poreless is mine. They also, if you are a dry skin person, they have the Dewy Smooth. Um, but my shade is 355 Coconut. And this is just a great mattifying foundation. It's a great color match. And um, the reason why this one is, is number two is because it is a great coverage and it's super mattifying this is a great mixer shade you can mix this shade with um any other one it wears wonderfully it stands up the reason why this one is number two is because this will stand up the test of time like if you are going to have a long work day or you're going to have a long night out or you're going to be taking a bunch of pictures or you're going to be doing a bunch of ish or if you want this foundation to go from your work day in the office or whatever to nightlife this is going to be a great foundation for it so that is why this one is number two and it's super cheap again it's like 5.99 or 6.99 and it's super easy to find at almost any drugstore number one number number one number one is the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one uh, foundation my shade in this is nutmeg it has a nice little pump on it i always appreciate a pump um i'm gonna put this one on i have been wearing this one crazily what do i have on my face oh i have the maybelline fit me i had the maybelline fit me on my face but uh my last video i was wearing this it's a nice creamy consistency it's not runny at all this one gets number one because it is affordable 10.99 or 9.99 at any drugstore it's readily able to be found it's matte it lasts all day and it is literally exactly what it says it is a two-in-one it is a foundation and it is a concealer this thing if you didn't have concealer you could just put this on as a foundation it's going to conceal any imperfections um and you are going to be able to wear this bad boy all freaking day so it basically checks all of the boxes which is why it is number one it's not honestly my favorite foundation of the collection if i had to pick it's probably going to be either the true match or the fit me probably the fit me because um just because i can wear it for so long but as far as what checks all the boxes and indeed deserves to be number one it is the milani two-in-one uh foundation and concealer there are some new ones that have come out there's like a full spectrum one um and i believe maybelline came out with like a matte or something or cover girl with the matte one i haven't tried those yet so these are my tried and true top five foundations for women of color. If you got any questions about any of the foundations that I mentioned, um, it's something that I didn't answer in this video, go ahead and hit the comments down below. I check those regularly. I will be able to answer you. I'm going to link my other top five. I'm not sure what the next top five video is going to be in this series, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys, stay beautiful. Peace, YouTube.